What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. This one's from Scream Factory, and it is Jackals. I think, I'm not for sure, but I think this is one of the first movies that Scream Factory actually had a hand in production with. Um, I could be wrong, but it was seemed like it was promoted that way. Anyway, uh, it's about a guy who gets kidnapped by some dudes in ski masks. He gets taken to this remote cabin out in the woods. And in kind of an early twist, we find out that he was actually kidnapped by his own family. Uh, apparently, this guy's gotten involved with a cult, and his family wants to bring him back. You know, they want him out of it. So they bring in uh, a guy played by Stephen Dorff, uh, who is a, you know, cult deprogrammer, former military guy, kind of expert on all these things. So he's going to try to work to break that cult mentality out of him so that he can come back to his family, you know, and kind of go back to his normal life. Um, but, of course, things don't go that smoothly. Um, the guy's just super brainwashed into the cult. He doesn't even, like, budge or you don't even see any cracks in, like, the facade of him. Uh, so it's it's obviously not going to be a very simple task. And just when it kind of looks like, you know, things are kind of cut grinding to a standstill on that front, uh, some shadowy figures in animal masks start to amass outside of the cabin, and it becomes apparent that the cult has shown up and that they're ready to take back, uh, you know, their, their member and apparently at whatever cost, because why else would they be wearing animal masks and carrying axes, right? Um, anyway, this movie was very much marketed around the, you know, the masked cultists. And I think that might throw some people off once they get to the movie. Because um, it takes about, I don't know, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes before you even really get an idea about the cult. Once they show up, you never really find anything out about them. Uh, which I think is fine because I think the mystery kind of keeps that, you know, mystique about them and that's fine. But because it was so heavily marketed around them, I feel like some people will be wanting like a slasher crazy, you know, movie on that front. And that's not what this is. It's more of a slow burn thriller that, you know, slowly leads up to some very sudden brutal violence. Um, I actually think the movie is good. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I definitely think some people might come in with kind of altered expectations and that might impact how they, you know, end up feeling about the movie. But if you come in, you know, not expecting a slasher or a crazy over-the-top horror movie, I think most people will like it, even horror movie fans, just because the attention is effective, uh, the performances are good. Once we get to the violence, it's uh, pretty nice. It's got some nice uh, bits of gore in there. Um, I loved the Fox Girl. Holy cow, man. I loved everything about the Fox Girl. Um, she was her crazy dancing and her just overall creepiness. But all the cultists are super creepy. It definitely, you know, adds to the atmosphere. I think the main issue for me with the movie is uh, the cult was so interesting and the people inside of the house weren't really super interesting. And the guy that they're trying to deprogram is such a douche and such an asshole. I don't know why they just didn't give up and leave. I mean, I know he's their family member, but... I mean, yeah, so I think if I probably would have liked it if there was more focus on the cult or if the cult would have kind of moved in a little bit quicker, but the movie does a good job of kind of using that, you know, this dark presence outside of the house to build atmosphere and suspense, so I understand why they didn't want to just rush them in there. Anyway, I thought the movie was good. Um, I definitely recommend it. The Blu-ray is from Scream Factory. It's a, it's a new movie. It looks, you know, the transfer looks fantastic. It's got an audio commentary track, interviews, and trailers. Um, I think it's a solid disc. I think it's priced fair. Um, again, the movie is, I thought it was a good movie, but I do think it's going to be different than what people might expect based on the previews and based on the marketing. But, you know, it is what it is. I definitely recommend it. Just keep your, you know, keep thing, keep in mind that it's more of a slow burn with like some nice gut punch violence toward the end. And I, I think most genre fans will like it. So that's my review of Jackals. If you like this video, please do uh, check out my website, markfusion.com. I've got tons of Scream Factory reviews there, as well as other horror cult exploitation, video games, anime, all kinds of stuff. I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at MarkFusion. You can follow me there. Then I usually post like, uh, you know, what new stuff I have coming up so you can get an idea of, you know, what I'm going to be reviewing. Or you can make recommendations there if there's something you think I need to review. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you know, I really do appreciate you watching these videos. Uh, if you like them, please do drop a sub. It would help me out greatly. It could prevent me from joining a cult. Um, I do have an animal mask. See, this is what a terrible YouTuber I am. I have a kangaroo mask, and I could have had it here, and I could have worn it, and instead, you know, this happened. So, I apologize. See, and now I've told you about it, so it's super disappointing. <laughs> because if I just would have shut up about it, you would have never known. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I do sincerely appreciate it. Hopefully I'll see you soon.